This room is directly beneath the monk's refectory above, which is a stunning room used for events and activities. Um, and it was the monk's refectory built around the 1200s. Um, and this room below the undercroft was used for storage. It's always very cool in here, which I'm sure was ideal to store meat, um, farm animals and tools in this space. Um, extensive restoration has been done here over the last few decades and has made it um, accessible to all. It's a beautiful room um, with the arched. So here we are, I'll just move around the room for you. So we believe this room was um, built around the 1200s, early maybe 1220s, um, and uh, currently it's being used as a museum. So this is the Priory Museum, and there's a lot of um, artefacts and information um, regarding the ferry service that the monks ran from 1150 to 1536, and lots of other finds that um, stonemasons and restoration workers and staff over the decades have found on this site. So it's a fascinating room. To our left here, we also have a, um, a slab, it's a, a Triassic sandstone, and it bears the footprints of a Chirotherium dinosaur. And a Chirotherium, the name literally means hand beast, and it was roaming around the Wirral area 243 million years ago. So we have lots of very excited children um, who visit and are very surprised to find <laughs> dinosaur footprints in our priory, but um, it's just another aspect of Wirral history, isn't it? It's just you know, an earlier, an earlier part of our history. So I'll walk around the undercroft for you so you can uh, gain an impression of this beautiful room. So those medieval stairs you can see there, those steps, they lead up to the undercroft um, and they are the original steps. And as you can see, they're uneven. Um, and there was always a reason behind that. It was um, almost a part of your defence in your home. Um, you know, if you were being chased up those steps, you know your own steps best. So you would have the advantage over an assailant who maybe has more chance of slipping or tripping. Um, also, a spiral staircase um, was a safer place to run to um, if anyone was um, about to attack you, as you couldn't draw a weapon or a sword within a spiral staircase, apart from the fact that it saved space. So a lot of medieval buildings have spiral staircases. I'll give you a last glimpse of our undercroft. We hope you've appreciated this video. Thank you so much for watching.